American Cole Hawker in that men's 1500 meters. So we had talked yesterday, we had talked in our in our preview episode with Chris Chavez about how the 1500 was this very highly anticipated event because it was the latest installment of this big rivalry between two of the the, the event's best, two of the greatest in the world, uh, Josh Kerr of Great Britain and Jacob Inge, or Jakob Ingebrigtsen of Norway. The race played out for most of it, basically as everybody expected. It's Inga Britson and it's Kerr in the front. Uh, they're leading the way. And then you're getting down to that final straightaway, and it's the two of them. They have the lead, and not a, not a big lead, but they're leading. And there's two Americans behind them. One of them is Cole Hawker, who comes out of nowhere and just really surges down that final straightaway, nips the both of them. He finishes first. He runs a and wins the gold medal. He runs three seconds better than his personal best to win that gold medal, shock everybody. And then, perhaps even more surprisingly, Ingebrigtsen totally fades. He he doesn't even get bronze. He just really wilts down the end. And uh, Kerr is able to take that silver behind Hawker. And then it's Yusuf Nagus. I'm sorry, Yared Nagus of uh, of the U.S. who took bronze. Uh, again, you know, just overtaking. Um, Ingebrigtsen at that at that final moment. So a really shocking result there. Yeah. So uh, mentioned the American also took bronze. Uh, this is the first time since 1912 that two Americans finished on the podium in this race. And wow. I just want to say you're absolutely right about Ingebrigtsen uh, fading down the stretch, but he actually still broke his own Olympic record from wow. last time around. He set the Olympic record, broke that record, and finished off the podium. So we had. Uh, Four, I think it was four, maybe it was more, but at least four runners broke the Olympic record in this race. So that tells you, you know, how fast we talked about whether it's a fast track. I think the uh, men was the well, no, never mind. Sorry, I'm I'm, uh, I'm getting my races confused. Um, but anyway, yeah, fun race. And Hawker came in on the inside um, mm -hmm. and it was cool watching him because it looked like there was a moment where he was uh, trying to cut on the inside and pass them, and then uh, someone, whoever it was that was ahead of him, didn't clear a path and didn't give him the space, and then he sort of like reset and did it again. And so watching uh, you know, these two guys who we were all talking about and expecting, and then seeing them get passed on the inside, uh, it was just like a very exciting moment. We've seen a few of these great races, and um, yeah, that was a, a very cool moment. Again, like I think everybody was expecting these two guys um, and the covered people on the track, they were talking about the uh, the uh, runners from other countries. And then it was Team USA ended up being the story of this race with uh, two men on the podium and a surprise gold. Yeah, it, it was. Yeah, like we said, Hawker, just like I mean, it, we say we came out. He came out of nowhere. But really, if you look at the, the results of the semifinal, you should have had an inkling this this could have happened because it was I think in that in that he ran in the same semifinal as Ingebrigtsen and Kerr. And there was like a four, like nearly a four way tie, right? It went to a photo finish to decide the top four in that race. And uh, Hawker's time was only 0.16 seconds slower than Ingebrigtsen, who won that semifinal. So he's right up, up and neck and neck with those those two marquee names in that semifinal. And then that shows you, you know, he, he obviously had it to had the, the juice to, to stick forward, you know, stick with it and. And then obviously win this race. Um, so yeah, really, you know, he put in a, a great time in that semi, and it foreshadowed a big win in the final. 